have heard of Slender Man, the characters at the center of a high profile stabbing case in Waukesha. Now it's out there as a Halloween costume. WISN 12 News, Christina Palladino is live in Brookfield. Christina, you found some stores have it, others are refusing to sell it. Yeah, the owner here at Halloween Express, who also owns the big pumpkin that you see down at State Fair Park, says it's just not appropriate to sell the Slender Man costumes in light of what happened last May in Waukesha. Now, if you remember, a 12 year old girl was stabbed 19 times. Her two classmates, 12 year olds Anissa Weir and Morgan Geiser, are accused in the case. Police say the two claim they stabbed their friend to impress the fictional online character known as Slender Man. Stores in our area, like Party City and Spear, at Halloween tell me they are both carrying the costume. We also found it available online on many websites. However, John Madoc, who owns the Halloween Express store, tells me he has two teenage daughters and doesn't see the need to have the controversial costume on his shelves. We don't mind scary, but we try not to be sick. So, you know, I have two daughters and I try to run my business so that they would be proud. So we try to carry a selection of stuff that is appropriate for families and for having fun. Now, the spokesman for the girl that was stabbed, we called him tonight. We did not hear back from him for any comment on how they feel about this issue. Both Spirit Halloween and Party City tell me they don't have any plans to remove the Slender Man costumes from their shelves. We're live in Brookfield tonight. Christina Palladino, WISN 12 News. And a judge just ruled yesterday that Anissa Wire must have a mental health exam to determine whether she's competent. Geyser's case is already on hold indefinitely while she receives court ordered psychiatric treatment. Both remain in custody.